hello it is tuesday it is tea time let us talk we're continuing with our mindset shifts and today is a really sticky topic we're talking about worth yeah and the baggage that comes along with it you ever look at something and you're like oh that's cute and you look at the price tag and you're like oh it's not that cute or like you're like oh i want to make a i want to make a robe à la française and then you need like 14 yards of silk and not just any silk but like silk taffeta which is like 30 something dollars a yard and you're like oh that's a lot of money i can't really afford that that's I'm not worth that. That's that's the trap right there. I'm not worth it. Cause boy, when that when that thought sticks in your head, that one's a real hard one to get rid of. Don't start thinking that. Don't start thinking that you're not worth it. Now you can't afford it. You have to save up for it. That's fine. But you're not worth it. Mm -mm. We don't do that in this house. I don't want to hear it. No excuses. You're worth it. You're worth taking a vacation to the Maldives if that is what you really want. Save up for it. Get a little uh, American Express four point whatever APY. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, okay? But like put your money in a savings account so you don't use it if you want to go to the freaking Maldives on a vacation. Make it happen. Manifest the thing that you want to do. <sighs> Nothing is too expensive. You're just not on a place where you can afford it at this moment, okay? It's not that you're not worth it. You'll get there. I believe in you. Don't say you're not worth it, okay? Let's talk about stashing. Last month, we talked a lot about stashing. Don't do the thing where you put it in your stash and you're like, I don't want to ruin it. You can't. You literally can't ruin it. Okay, there's so few ways that you can ruin things. Let's talk about the ways that you can ruin things. Like you want to talk 40K models, the only way you can ruin those is to melt them. Like you can remove the paint off of those. You make an outfit with your teal cashmere wool blend and you don't like the way it looks on you okay use the fabric from the panels to make something else maybe you can get a pair of stays or something or a cute little top vest out of the skirt you made or whatever there's so many options and what you do when you're like i don't want to ruin it is you lose your chance at the joy that you could have to use the thing that you bought because you loved it. Does it bring you joy just sitting there in your stash? Are you a collector or are you a crafter? Because like I said, we all know our number one hobby is collecting craft supplies, but like you're worth the good dishes. You're worth the nice candle. Burn it. Eat off the china. Use your silk. Use the nice fabric paint your models you can always redo them later you can always buy more fabric you can always buy more yarn do the thing because sure as shit you are not going to get any better at what you're trying to do by not doing it so you want to talk about not being worth using the good stuff in your stash you're never going to be worth using the good stuff in your stash if you have that kind of mindset use the stuff Use it, learn, grow, buy some more. Use it, learn, grow, buy some more. Nothing that we have, okay, 99% of what we have is gettable again, or is at least close to gettable again. You're worth using it. Some things don't have cheaper alternatives. Like you wanna get into watercolor painting and you think that you're gonna have cheap practice paper? Oh no, honey, oh no. There is no substitute for cold press paper. You have to use the good stuff. You're not gonna know how the paint is gonna act on the watercolor paper if you don't use the watercolor paper. You're not gonna know how the oil paint acts on the canvas if you use acrylics for your practice because they're cheaper. If you wanna use acrylics because you wanna use acrylics, fine. But if you want to paint with oils, you've gotta paint with oils. If you want your garment to look good, you gotta make a mock-up, and when you make the mock-up, you have to use something that has an approximate drape and stretch. And 
sometimes that means you have to make a mock-up out of fabric that is not two dollars a yard it's okay the experience of doing it is worth something okay even if it is a twall a mock-up a practice whatever you want to call it the experience is worth something please don't cheap out on your experience please for the love of the knitting gods if you are wanting to learn how to knit buy the good yarn buy yourself some nice plush superwash wool and some nice bamboo or laminated birch needles please having a pleasant experience makes the experience more pleasant i'm not saying you have to go out and get the Mercedes. You don't need to go buy Addy Turbos if you're new, but invest in your pleasure. Invest in your enjoyment. Squeaky plastic yarn is the frustration of a lot of beginners. The soft boucle yarn, again, you might like the way that it looks and the way that it feels not going to enjoy the process of learning on it okay you're worth using the materials that you need to use in order to learn correctly you're worth using the materials that you need to use to get your desired outcome i don't even know how to say this in a way that doesn't might come off as elitist because there are going to be people who are like, I can't afford it. And I understand not being able to afford it. Trust, I have been in the place where I go to the thrift store and buy a sweater and unravel it just so I can have yarn to knit. Yes, it's a pretty cheap way to get yarn, but it's usually not pleasant. You're worse saving up if that's what you have to do in order to afford the thing that makes you happy. If you have to do what I do and like make a list of the things that you want for birthday and Christmas and that's what you tell people that you want. My family is so tired of hearing me say, please give me Silk Baron gift certificates for Christmas. I guess what I'm trying to say is treat yourself. Treat yourself to things that you will actually use. Use them. Enjoy them. Life is too freaking short. If you're in a space where you can't afford to do that, that doesn't mean you're not worth it just means that you got to figure out how to make it happen. You should have a budget for things that bring you joy. The things that make this life worth it. Please do me a favor. I don't care if it's like five dollars a week. Put some money away somewhere dedicated entirely to frivol frivolous pursuits. Things that put the life back in your soul because you are worth it. Who told you you weren't? They're lying. They were probably selfish. They don't know what they're talking about because you're worth it. You're also worth drinking water and eating nutritious food. You're worth getting up and going for a little walk. You're worth taking care of yourself. Listen, I know what it's like to not feel like you're worth it. I know what it's like to feel like you'll never be worth it. You are worth it. You've always been worth it. You always will be worth it. And I'm, I'm begging you to believe that. You are worth it. You are loved. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for doing all the YouTube things. If you made it this far, comment something about my robe because I absolutely love it and I made it myself and I'm very proud of it and very happy with it. Thank you. I love you. Have a great day. Do something for you. You deserve it. You're worth it.